New at 10, Oakland is getting a new center marking its history as the birthplace of the Black Panther Party. That history is being highlighted this weekend with two events. KTV's Jenna Katsuyama live tonight in the newsroom to explain how the history is being told from a different perspective than many people might imagine. Jenna? Mike, that perspective is from some of the members of the Black Panther Party who are still part of the Oakland community. And we understand that there's going to be one event at the Oakland Museum coming tomorrow, a second event at a new center on Saturday. Just around the corner from City Hall, Frederica Newton wants to show people another side of Oakland's history. Many of the neighborhoods don't look like they did um, during the era of the Black Panther Party. The Black Panther Party's logo is now painted across a building at 1427 Broadway, the home of the new Dr. Huey Newton Center for Research and Action. And there are many people that don't even know that the Black Panther Party had roots here in Oakland. Frederica Newton's roots run deep. I joined the party in 1971 and I was 19 years old. She married the party's co-founder, Huey Newton, years later. Now, more than 50 years after the party's birth in Oakland back in 1966, there is still controversy over the party's militancy and clashes with law enforcement during a volatile era. But Frederica Newton says the new center will be a place to bring some balance. The media only portrayed us, the Black Panther Party, with images of angry-looking men with guns. She says what wasn't shown were the party's community programs, such as the free breakfast for children and free health clinics to test for lead poisoning, hypertension, and sickle cell anemia. We had 65 survival programs, 65. The, the ambulance program in North Carolina was created by women because black people were dying on the streets and no ambulance because no ambulance would come into the black community to pick them up. That history is also being told at the Oakland Museum of California this week with a book signing and panel discussion on Friday for the new Comrade Sisters, a history of the Black Panther women. Now people get to see the other side of the Black Panther Party from the people that were in the party. 70% of the membership was women. And on Saturday, the Newton Research Center will hold its first preview event for founding members. This will be an oral history studio, have exhibition space, uh, and it will be a think tank. This is an interactive museum and think tank. Xavier Buck is the executive director and says it's a chance to reflect on Oakland's past and help shape the future. What we are really building is monumental, right? This is not just a, a storefront. This is the first time that the Black Panther Party will be recognized in this kind of way, where there's a central location. Party members tell the story themselves. That's the Black Panther Party that I was attracted to and fell in love with. So it's 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 so meaningful to me. It means everything to me that the that the community know. And Frederica Newton will be both at the public panel discussion at the Oakland Museum tomorrow and the private event at the Newton Research Center on Saturday. Mike. All right, Jenna Katsuyama live tonight in the newsroom. Jenna, thank you for that.